Hello students, I hope you are all good. I am back again and very grateful to you all for being very supportive. I will be discussing today a very interesting question that is being asked, why doesn't that moon fall to this earth? Before answering this question, we need to understand another question first. That is, what would be the force of gravitation between two bodies if the distance is reduced to half? Come and see that. Yeah. When the distance is distance is reduced to half reduced to half between two bodies so the center to center distance between them would be now d by 2 because we have taken it earlier the distance between them was d okay now by applying universal law of gravitation we have the force is equals to g m1 m2 upon d square for those who don't know what this is this is the formula of universal law of gravitation and where g is the universal gravitational constant and m is the mass of body a and m2 is the mass of body b and d was the earlier center to center distance between them just because we have reduced to half now this is d by 2 now okay now by replacing this d with this d by 2 we would get f equals to g m1 m2 upon d by 2 whole square further simplifying it we would have f equals to g m1 m2 upon d square upon 4 and finally we would get f equals to 4 times of g m1 m2 upon d square this implies that if the distance is decreases between two bodies the force will increase more and if the distance is increasing between them the distance the force will decrease more Okay. This means if two objects are very closer, the effect of force is very large between them. And as we are separating them, the effect of force is getting reduced. Are you getting my point? Yeah. Now we also need to remember the fact that gravitational force is the weakest force in nature. and also has the longest range longest range this means that the gravitational force can act on any body can act on any body from very far from very far away What did, what did we learn so far is that increases the distance, decreases the force. Now we will do an activity for better understanding the role of speed. Get my point? Now see it. I am moving it, I am moving it and it is getting speedy and speedy and it is going round and round and round. And as I slow it down, as I slow it down, it starts coming down and down and down and it is completely down here. Get it? Yeah. We saw by this activity is that if any object is moving very fast, then it does not come down. 
but as it slows down it starts to fall down okay and by that activity let this is the earth and you are standing on a very tall building on it and you throw a stone with some force that will fall back to earth and suppose you throw a stone again with much greater force and the stone will fall back to earth but this time very far away and suppose you throw a stone with much greater force and the stone gets speedy and it will go back to that point where was it thrown making a circular path this implies that if the object is very distant and is moving very fast and is moving very fast then it never hits the earth never hit the earth this is because the distance between them is very high and the object is moving very fast are you getting likewise the moon is so far away from the earth and moves so fast that it revolves around the earth in a circular path known as orbit and if the moon were moving lot faster then it will escape earth gravity and fly off into the space and if the moon were moving more slowly then gravity of earth pulls it down This balance of speed and gravity creates what we call an orbit where a smaller body circles around a larger one that is why the moon doesn't fall to earth and it revolves around the earth okay get it now yes i hope you understood now why doesn't that moon fall to this earth and we are going to wrap up our session here i will be back again with a new class with a new topic Thank you all for being in my class very much